Alright guys, welcome to Gaming Koalas, and here I am playing a new game. Um, let me move the mic real quick. Alright, playing a new game called Running with Rifles by Modulatio Games. It's currently in like beta as you can see, and there's a new update out. Cool. I'll update later. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I'm, I'm actually trying to play more like unknown games, so my channel's a bit different. So that's cool. So if you guys know any games you'd like me to play, just, you know, comment below. Oh, and before we start the game, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Just do it real quick. It's, it helps a lot. Thank you. Alright, on with the game. So this game is like a semi-realistic, no, uh, it's like an arcade shooter, but at the same time it's really fun because you're not just like overpowered like soldier. You're really like an infantry grunt. So uh, let me play. Let's go green team. Uh, number of initial bases. I want the let's be rank one. And I think I'm playing on a. There's like three maps right now, but this is a pretty small map, so I'll just have 150 at the most. All right. So it's, there's a couple weapons, not a lot yet, but it's working on. It's a it's a top down view as you guys can see, and these isometric these are called isometric lines, and it tells how high you are. So. So let's see, I'm aiming down here. I can shoot right there. You see that little, like, second crosshair? It shows, like, whether I can hit something or not. You see? You see how that little thing, like, went back here behind the tree? When I went over here? It's because the tree's in my way. So if I try shooting up here, I wouldn't be successful. Because I can't see past that hill, which is where the isometric line. So this is, like, a tall point. You can shoot down. You can, yeah. Yeah, you guys, well, you guys will see as I play. It's a pretty cool game. And if there's like a red dot, it means I can't shoot there. Like the well, I, I can't technically, but the bullet chances are low. So let's talk about the mini map real quick. I didn't, re I, I, I didn't actually learn how this worked till like recently. So here goes. Yellow is the staging area, is where like where all the troops gather, getting ready for an invasion. And their target would be do 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 the where the red is. I'm thinking, and the smaller red circles is where enemy troops have been spotted, and the green is what we control. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can climb ladders, get on buildings, and and I think they I recently added um a jeep to the game. I haven't seen one yet, but supposedly it's there. So it'd be cool if we can find one today. And there's many different weapons: the AK, the MP5, a sniper rifle, a shotgun, a machine gun. And these guns are very balanced, or pretty balanced for that stage, where that like, each gun doesn't like each gun has like one weakness and one strength over another and stuff like that. So. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I bought this game what, around during December, and I didn't play it much because it was kind of really rough around the edges. But now I can see that the developers have... Yo, see how I can shoot this guy down here? Well, I can't shoot this guy up here. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Cool. So that means the height difference. So I'm going to get on this house here like a boss. And just... sneak my way into the enemy base uh -huh. he's mine got him all right let's go prone here oh um, very good out of their fire oh god there's a lot of them Oh, lag, lag. There we go. Oh, I got shot a bit. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. I usually die pretty quick in these games. Oh, there, here comes my troops. And as you rank up, you, got, you can have like squad members in your squads. As you get higher rank, you have like the ability to have more people. And once you get to a certain rank, you start getting motors, which are really cool. But you have to like shoot the motors where the enemies are going to be, not where they are at, because it takes a while for the motors to hit. Oh, got another kill. This is quite the cool game. I, I recommend you guys like, try it out for yourself. Right, I'm gonna go for. 
Oh, no, I can't shoot. Oh no, I can't shoot up the hill, see? I have to go up here, and then I can shoot him. Oh god! Oh wow, how did I not get killed there? Oh, and I died, see? I probably should've stayed on the rooftop. And I start all the way here. Maybe there's a jeep? No jeep. Shucks. I'm, I'm gonna try to get some other weapons to show you guys, just like, the variety of weapons. It's not too many, but it's still a good variety. Oh, grenade. Oh god, let's hit the floor. Ooh, okay, I got a machine gun. Okay. Yeah, yet. Oh, dang, I died. I see, yeah, you die with whatever weapon you last had. There's no weapon changing when you die. You, you have to pick it up or something. Which I'm not sure is the best way to go because sometimes you really want a certain weapon but you can't find it for like, for like forever. But, um, maybe they'll add like some kind of like option to choose at the start of a game because sometimes I get like a shotgun which I don't want at the start of a game and have to, I'm stuck with it until like, I can find another weapon let's be sneaky here now spirit oh. let's get up here oh they don't even know I'm here perfect Oh god. Taking return fire. Got him. Oh taking fire. Yes. And see this is it ticks down. If we if we have more significantly more troops in the area than they do. Oh, and we lost a couple troops, so that means we didn't successfully capture it. But that's okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, dang it! If we will capture it. Yeah, so the submachine gun isn't really for picking off. Or not submachine gun, what am I talking about? The machine gun isn't really for like picking off individual targets, like an assault rifle or a sniper rifle or something. It's more for like suppressing the enemy. Like so. Of course you don't want to shoot your teammates in the process, but Yeah, it's more for like massive firing to get Put the enemy's head down rather than actually going for the kill. Oh, actually, see how see how I was prone there and the arrow was there. I wasn't hitting him at all. I was laying in a ditch. It gets some. It, it takes some getting used to to like figure out how to shoot and like where the hills are and the figuring out the contours line. But it's, it's worth. It's a really fun game once you do learn how to shoot right. So I got the G36 and I died. Still have it though. And it's it's like the equivalent equivalent of an AK, but um, it's like killing power. No, not killing power. Stopping power. No, that's not the right word either. It's like ability to kill is like better, I guess. Well, at least that's what it feels like. Like it feels like the damage per bullets. Like you kill a lot faster. It feels like it, but the G36, it feels like you have like a better accuracy. All right, there we go. Oh my god, we got ambushed there, but we're okay, because we're better. And it's a lot better when you, like, hold burst fires, I can t I, 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 as, as I've uh, figured out. Can't hit him. Oh, yeah, see, I shouldn't be standing around like that. I should have been hiding. Oh, cool, we caught, we uh, captured this place. Very good, very good. Yeah, so this game shows a lot of promise. I'm liking it a lot so far. It looks like we only have to capture one more place, so that was a quick game. I'm gonna guess because it was due to my superior uh, playing abilities. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a small map, so the um, power shifts a lot easily, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that since I had the enemy accuracy at zero, which is like easy, I guess. There's also negative two, which is like super easy, but since, considering that since I had a lot of the options on like the default, and I wasn't really making it hard for myself, I'm gonna say that's fine. But I've only played this map like twice now. And this is one. This is definitely one of the smaller maps. So if you guys are looking for like, oh he's dead. Oh shotgun. Let me get that. Show you guys. Uh, okay. That I do. Yeah, but. If you guys are looking for like one well, like a, a bigger map experience, the, the first map is like a huge like map and there's like trenches and town. It's pretty cool. And then there's a the second map which is like really close quarters. Like 
it's like it's like I guess the same size as this, but there's more buildings, so everything's a lot more urban, which is kind of cool. But I got sick of that because I just don't really like close quarters fighting. This is like a really nice one though. It's kind of far range, enough to do stealthy type things, but at the same time, it's a uh, close quarter combat. Right, you're fighting up there. I'm a corporal, so I ranked up at least. No, I haven't ranked up yet. No, actually, I think I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Maybe I have. I don't know. You start as a private, so yeah, I probably ranked up once. Oop. Got it. Oh, he has a sniper. That's a guy with a sniper rifle right there. See, with the normal guns, you can't really see much beyond, but with a sniper, sniper rifle to simulate the sniper scope, you can see much farther. Let's see if I can grab that sniper. Oh, sniper just killed me. Okay, I'm playing sloppily here. Check up my game. Oh, there we go. This is how we do it. Oh, Mossberg. There you go. To reload this gun, you gotta hold R, which is kinda cool, I guess. Alright, let's play the shotgun here. South side. is not the best weapon as you can see ah uh, I died before I could even shoot my shotgun but yeah not the best weapon just for what, where I am but I want to show you guys every single weapon so I'm doing this for you guys oh looks like great team I'm gaining ground and the green team are retreating uh oh well, I'm trying to flank them go around Ah, uh, that was a bad idea. Running really on the open guy. So this is kind of a tactile, tactile type of FPS. It's not really a running gun, even though I'm treating it like one, because I'm not good at these type of games where it actually requires skill. But yeah, see what I did there? I was just running and open shooting my shotgun. I didn't get anybody, but whatever. Yeah, so this is like, I kind of like this because it incorporates a lot of strategy. And it'll be really cool. Multiply, multiplayer is already implemented, but it'll be really cool once like it gets like it's kind. But it's not like the most optimized. Well, actually, it's pretty optimized in my opinion. But when like more people find out about this game, we get to start having like these big matches of all these people. I think it'll start getting really epic. There you go. Trees, Jeffrey trees, stick behind trees. Mm -hmm. well, I can do this. I can do this. All right, yeah. So, hmm, I am gonna show you guys the close quarters map. Yes, sir, I will. Um, it takes a while to change maps for me, so um, I'll start recording. I'll get back to you guys when I've changed maps.